Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 6 features, part 3, Dictionary Initializer, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to see what is Dictionary Initializer feature. And right now, we'll understand it. Before understanding Dictionary Initializer, we should be aware of what is Dictionary. Uh, dictionary is a generic collection which is present in the namespace system.collection.generic and if you are not aware about what is dictionary you can refer to my c-sharp videos where i've explained dictionary clearly and right now what we'll do is we'll understand um, like what was present in c-sharp version 5 and what's been new added to c-sharp version 6 in the c-sharp version 5 if you want to initialize a values to a dictionary with the help of key it was a bit difficult or it was a bit confusing here is the image which explains you how do you store a values for a dictionary using the key you can observe here if you want to store values to this dictionary collection then what we are doing we used to open the braces then call the respective key and the respective value to it and similarly we have stored three values here and the fourth one have been added here and this was here the values are only three if imagine if you are stored some 20 to 30 values and it was a bit confusing which in the c-sharp version 5 to store values we have to open the braces then call the key then assign uh, the value with the double quotes uh, this was a bit confusing but coming to c-sharp version 6 here it tells like we can directly initialize a value to a key in the dictionary collection either the key in the collection would be a string type or data type in the sense this image explains you like for example in the previous c sharp version 5 we saw how do we store a value with the help of a key it was like double braces then the specify the key then comma then double braces assign the value but here it's very easy first what we are doing is calling the key with the square brackets then we are using the assignment operator to assign the value to the respective key so here the key one is having the value nothing similarly two and three the simplicity here is they have used the equal to the assignment operator to assign the values to the respective key and that's what's special in c-sharp version 6 and without and here is the code for that you can observe here this is the code for c-sharp version 5 and this is the code for c-sharp version 6 now without wasting much time let makes our let make our hands dirty in coding right now i'll jump into visual studio and what are, what we do what what we do here is let us initialize a dictionary phi i would like to show you the difference between how do how to store how do we store values in the c sharp version phi and how it's been improved in c sharp version 6 first let's start with the dictionary in the c sharp version phi like dictionary okay the first you can observe my keys of integer type and the values of string type okay let me initialize like uh, the variable name is dictate is equal to new okay now I have to initialize values how do I initialize it's very simple okay in the C-sharp version 5 if you want to initialize values to the dictionary then we used to call the braces then I used to keys 1 and the respective value stored in it is like C-sharp the first value what I'm trying to store here is C-sharp similarly for the second one the keys 2 um, shop uh, ASP dot net let me call MVC okay it, the value should be separated by the comma similarly here also and let me take the third key and respective value is like let me store HTML which all are familiar with okay now I'll take the fourth key then okay comma I'll store like uh, JavaScript done okay now once I'm initialized the values and stored in the dictionary my next objective is uh, to print them on the console so I'll use for each loop to iterate to the collection uh, for it the collection name is dick dictionary in okay dictionary in teacher let me print them it's very simple since you should you should be very careful like dictionary is a key value pair so I have to print the key as well as the value so item dot key let me provide some space so that there will be a difference between the key and the value item dot value now when I run this program you can observe it prints the respective keys 
with the values for example one is c sharp two is asp.mvc three is html four is javascript okay but the problem was the initialization like you have to open the braces every time then call the key then store the value but c sharp version 6 it made the developer life very easy how it's very simple let me remove these all these values and how do i store values here it's very simple i would like to call square brackets and specify the key then the important operator is assignment operators to store values to the respective key so, okay first exa first value was c sharp okay this is how i store and the second was okay it should be separated with the comma not the semicolon okay ASP dot net MVC okay similarly the third one was HTML okay it's be separated by comma why I'm printing okay now the fourth value is we stored the JavaScript okay that's it okay you can observe the difference and it's very clear like I'm storing C sharp to key 1 and MVC to key 2 and HTML to key 3 and JavaScript to key, uh, key 4 but in the C sharp 5 it was a little bit confusing and now they have made the developer life very easy by using the assignment oper operator you can assign the value to the respective key and this looks very simple and very easy to read and this makes the code readable also that's what the specialty of this dictionary in dictionary initializer feature and uh, in our run this the similar output you can observe as we got okay but the important thing about this feature was it made like uh, instead of every time calling these braces then assigning the values it made like opening the square brackets specify the key then use the assignment operator to uh, assign the respective value to the respective key this is what the specialty of dictionary initializer feature and thank you for listening okay okay you can like us on youtube uh, we are running a channel called anchor training you can like us here or you can subscribe here and you can like us on facebook visiting this url www.facebook.anchorotraining and twitter and website you can refer for the further references and we are on linkedin too to subscribe to our youtube channel please uh, type anchor training then please get subscribed to this and don't forget to give the feedback thank you